Hello and welcome back to another video of me doing some tinkering with LED panels. As you can see down below here, I have a couple of them. Well, actually I have way more of them. I pre-tinned these ones, so they're already partly soldered. And I have some other ones that are off screen, well slightly off screen. I will move them over to show you what I've been doing already. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of soldering now i actually recorded another video on this but i was extremely tired so i'm not sure if i will post this so if you've seen it it means that i've posted it <laughs> and i thought it was good enough if you haven't seen it then this will be the first video and it's fine so um what i'm doing currently is i'm exploring the life of led panels and I've ordered a bunch of these on AliExpress and um, they're really nifty cool little things and I ordered an ESP32 that I can't hold up really properly so I'll just kind of pop it under the camera here so you can see this is a development board and here's the ESP32 this is like a little microchip and it will basically send what well, it can send information um or you know do depending on what you what kind of code you put on it it can do various things i'm using it for sending data over the network from my computer to these panels so that they show certain images so i'm just going to turn them on and show what that actually looks like all right, so for those of you who are familiar with this program, I don't really have to explain you much. For those of you who aren't, this is Touch Designer. And um, I have some very sloppy spaghetti here where I'm just testing some different kinds of visuals that I can then send to my ESP, which I just turned on, so you might have just heard it pop. And so, What's happening here is that I'm just I've just made a couple of um, of test images just to see what works well with LED panels because they're quite limited in sense of pixels and um, of course I put Doom Guy in there that's actually the one that's rendering right now and um, yeah some other nifty images so what you see here is I've basically sliced bits of this ima image because I have the panels themselves they're actually not that big and I'm stitching them together so each of these panels is kind of like a separate thing so each of these images that you see there so if you look at my mouse and you see this this is a slice so that's one panel and um, so I'm slicing them up and then sending these over separate universes in artnet and the reason i have to do that is because artnet only supports up to 512 channels which well i can't do more than two because they are 40 64 leds leds and they have all rgb channels so that's three channels so that is quite a lot and um yeah just to show i'm gonna switch back now to the other window you can already kind of see that his face is starting to become kind of clear. If you're from close by, you can't see it. But when you're from further away, you kind of get the gist. And um, of course, I can also follow my camera or something else. It doesn't matter. I can use it. There we go. Isn't it cute? Aww. So you can see there's not too much definition right now because it's just for LED panels. And it's not that many LEDs. But today, I want to add more of those so that we can actually create a bit of a bigger screen. And um, it's gonna be, I, f I feel like this is gonna be maybe like a short series where I'm just not gonna do some tinkering and you can tag along. Yeah. Cool, huh? I need a better, a better diffuser, but for now this will do so I can get an idea of what it could look like. Today I'm just gonna do a bit of soldering. And I'm going to check how I did it with this, because I would like to do it as similar as possible. Even though the first one, I did some pretty nasty wiring and I regret it. <laughs> so 
you can already probably spot the problem and that is that I was kind of thinking oh I don't want to so you have to go this goes all for the board to here then this goes to the next one but then if I want to go down I have to go out and officially you should go here because that would be the next one I mean that's the most logical because you want to go well I mean depending on what but because the LEDs are going from left to right I thought it would be better if the screens also go left to right so that all the logic is the same but right now that's actually not what is happening because now it's going to this one so it's kind of going in a loop and then here it's going back there so um, sorry the other way around so it's going like here and then this one goes there so we're following this path now instead of actually going like this it is what it is I'm going to change that with the future one the one that I'm going to solder today I just gotta check what I've used for the other one so I don't get confused so I've used orange for red brown for black and yellow for yellow well at least that I'm just gonna strip them and then I'm going to I don't ha I have it's really cool actually this is um, a very nice cable stripper but my wires are too thin to use this cable stripper properly so unfortunately apologies unfortunately I'll have to do it this way which means I have to do it carefully or I'll rip off the wire that's good enough I don't know yet if I want to go and link them through or figure out some kind of pin system for them because I would like to make it modular meaning that I have one square well one of four panels together and then the next line with four panels together I can kind of click them I don't have connectors for that yet but I want to basically make them separately so what I'm going to do is I have to orient them the right way I started building like this it's upside down but um, let's put them in a different order it's gonna go into the ESP to check so I think a long wire might be good something like this and then I need to put this on a roll because they're like <laughs> super long and we'll do orange same length perfect so let's tin the little bastards <laughs> Uh, it takes forever. Yes, thank you. Well, I really think that the tip needs some cleaning. Mm. Uh, I have a new one, so maybe I'll put that on after this video and then uh, it will go so fast it's hard to see for me where the camera starts and ends while keeping an eye on this burning hot thing that is about 385 degrees celsius i don't know what that's in fahrenheit i'm sorry i'm from europe but it's hot for sure hotter I don't know if it would be hotter than uh, food that you put on that you put into on your plate. Well, perhaps not on your plate, but in the pan. You know what I mean. Hmm. Okay. So this all looks kind of good, and I'm going to start here, so that all of them will be on the same below. This is what I'm using for black. 
And I hope I don't need extra tin and I can just melt it in there. So I'm going to, can you, hope it's visible. Perhaps I can focus it a bit better. Well, I hope that's focused enough. Just get a little hot and suddenly it will melt. Just like that. Now it's a great thing that there's no blood going through my fingers. <laughs> it's like my hands are cold as hell. So it's it's pretty hard for me to actually burn my hands with this. I mean, it does happen, of course. Oh, damn it. Oh, that is awful. Where'd the drop go? Ugh. Let's put this away for a second. Please go on there. Well, you know. Ugh. Papa! That's how you do it. It's a bit thick. <sighs> but it's better than too thin and uh, I just want it to work and I will hide all of this later. Just hope it doesn't melt into the other one because it's so big. Also I've done this like, I don't know, an hour ago. And oh, can we... yeah? Is that good enough? It's a little crooked. So let's see if the other one actually melts in nicely and if, if it not if it doesn't mend together. If it doesn't, I'll leave it like this, then it's good enough. Okay, so we got LED panel number one done. And now I'm just gonna connect it and see if it works. Also Okay, so I just took off the um, wires of the old one, of the ESP, and now I'm just gonna place these in there. So this is ground, so it goes in there. This is power, so it goes in the first one. And then lastly, this is the data and I'm using the D13 pin. I hope this will fit in simply because I have made a bit of a blob on the end. But the wires are thin, so I have good hopes. I guess that goes in there. Oh, it doesn't. Then we'll just have to make this a little thinner. Perhaps that will do. That's in there. Okay, let's turn it on. That's stupid. I turned, I changed the pins. I mean, just in general, it's a really shitty soldering job, but. One eternity later. Hmm, <laughs> did I leave it turn on? 
there we go. That's one part of it. So I'll probably redo this so that it's actually the right color because I can see myself in the future not paying attention, wiring it wrongly, and being like, why does this not work? Um, having the same problem I just had, basically. So I'll need to kind of build in for future me so that I don't hate myself in the future. My hate, don't hate my past self. So I'm just gonna go and turn that around and then I'll be back. All right, it seems like um, whenever I turn the camera off, suddenly <laughs> everything goes really fast. That is so strange. I still haven't figured out what that is about. Perhaps it's really just ADHD. Okay, let's just check if now I did a good job. Boom, cool. Okay, colors are right, everything's right. On to the next one. And with the one that I have here, I'm not gonna copy it because it did a stupid job that, but I'm gonna copy it partly. I'm gonna do this the same way. So I'm gonna go like that. Because this is in, this is out. So I'm going to go from out to in and I see I didn't tin it. So I'm just going to grab one that I did tin. This one. Um, saves me a headache and a half. And then I'm just going to put the wires in that way. I'm just going to adjust. I feel like that's going to give you a better view of what's happening. Even when I move it over here. Okay, so we need some more wires. This is a moment where s where I wish I had an intern. <laughs> that I could just give it to him and go like, you know what, you go and measure all the wires and then you can strip them and I only have to put them on there. No, you know what, put them on there. No, I, okay, I'm, I enjoy it. Intern doesn't have to put it on there. You need to have some skill in life, you know? <coughs> but unfortunately, I do not have the luxury of having an intern. Also, it's kind of wild. If you're not from the Netherlands, you may not know, or I don't know how it is in some countries, but if you're an intern here, you don't get paid. I know it's really bad. Hmm. That's more like it. Cool, look at those shiny wires. We need to do the same for this one. And that one. Oop. And I oop. How big is it? Like a soul. Yep. There we go. <sighs> okay, I'm probably just gonna fast forward this bit a little bit.